大家好，我的中文名字叫周雨山啊。Uh, 非常高兴今天有这样子的机会来跟大家分享我的演讲。我知道你们都不知道我在讲什么，不过我想要跟大家讲的题目是 China Snow Panda Express。As you can tell from my head to toe and my weird accent that I'm an Asian, but there's something I do wanted to clarify that I know how to drive, and I can also make super cute Asian poses. While I'm driving, and trust me, I can greet you just fine. Did I say hello when I started? Then hello again. But really, today I'm here not to give you more stereotypes so that you can make more fun of me. I'm really here to share with you some of the failures caused by misunderstandings that cause a lot of U.S. companies to fail in China. And how we can better understand these differences. So let's start with stereotypes. The first one. I don't know how many times I have to tell other people that I don't know kung fu, nor do I watch kung fu movies all the time. And some other people think, well, China is just like states 10, 20 years ago, or Chinese people are just too shy to make eye contact. Uh-uh. None of these are true. But these are just the misunderstandings that cause a lot of waste of money and efforts when U.S. companies try to do business in China. Well, definitely cost Google a lot. There are probably very few tech companies succeeding in China. eBay, they pretty much had to hand over their operations to their local competitors. Or MySpace, they are only managed to be there for about a year, and that's not just. Tech industries. Best Buy recently just shut down nine of their stores due to poor operation. And every time around this year, I know a lot of you are excited about Apple's new releases, but in China, people are just not very excited about Chinese product,、uh, Apple's product. So why, you may ask? You can say, "Oh, Chinese government is the evil one," or Chinese companies are just so good at popping up similar products. We're clone sites, but if that is true, there shouldn't be any successful multinationals, and there is. GM's brand Buick, their sales in China are three times more than their sales here, and that's not just it. Like fast food companies. Uh, McDonald's, KFCs, they successfully bring in Western fast food, which make all of us fat into China, and、um, blending a little bit Chinese taste. Maybe that's why we are never fat.、Um, and、um, so that really boils down to the understanding the culture part. Companies really need to build new models to blend in Western and Eastern culture to succeed. So, how can we better understand these differences? Well, you certainly don't want to take advice from Tiger Mom or start calling yourself garbage. No, we don't want to do that. But you do have to do a lot of research to understand what people want in China. A lot of U.S. companies just assume China is a natural expansion, but it's not.、Um, And hence, they ignore something very, very important called guanxi. It's、um, heavily dependent relationships,、um, and it's really, really time-consuming to invest. But by the end of the day, it's not what you know, but who you know that gets you the resources you want in China. Sounds really time-consuming, doesn't it? But at least you can start trying.、Um, learn how to greet in Mandarin or Cantonese. How many of you know how to do that? Or give yourself a Chinese name、um, and put it on your business card. So really, doing bus- business in China is not as fast and easy like you go to Panda Express and get a sweet and sour pork. Nah. But I do have a shortcut; otherwise, I wouldn't be here. That is making friends with someone like me. My name is Evelyn Joe, and I love making friends. I love cross-cultural debates. And thank you all for your time. You can easily find me on Twitter and LinkedIn. 
Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy rest of your evening. 谢谢，再见。